Hi folks and welcome back to the channel, Lee here. So um, I've actually got a little bit of a day out to do. Um, we're actually just waiting for the Waverly to arrive, the, the paddle steamer. Um, this is something I've actually been waiting for for like two years, so um, I'm actually really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great day out. Um, the weather isn't the best, you know, it could be a bit sunnier, but you know, it's, it's okay and the sea's pretty calm as well, so uh, everything's looking good that way. Um, you know, I'm just like I probably would have been easier to do this in the car, but you know, I just thought it'd be quite cool to have like a view of the sea behind us. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to put too much commentary in this video. Um, it's literally just going to be, you know, making a few videos of like obviously what we see out there, you know, um, and I will put a little bit of commentary at the end to just kind of maybe explain a few more things and that. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, we're going to have a day out, um, we're in Largs just now, um, we're just waiting for the Waverly to arrive, it's actually been delayed a little bit from Glasgow, um, so, you know, uh, hopefully all goes well there and it might be a little later, but, you know, that's fine. Um, so, I mean, it's really good to just see it back in the water again, you know, because um, it had to get its boiler replaced. Um, you know, so they took it out of service last year, but then obviously with what's been going on this year um, It wasn't really able to return to full service this year either, but we are getting about two weeks of her here So, you know, that's pretty good um, Obviously I'll be working so, but I've got it booked up for today and I've got it booked up for next Sunday as well So, um, yeah, it should be pretty good um, Yeah, um, I suppose I should just kind of like, you know, I've got nothing else to do just now, so I suppose I should just like talk about my general interest in the Waverly, and basically, like, it's not really something that, you know, I thought about, but like, um, back in third and fourth year, I had a chemistry teacher called Paul Simple, well, Mr. Simple at the time, and, you know, he was, yeah, he was almost certainly my best teacher in school. I had two really good teachers in school, and he was one of them. Um, and, you know, he made it really obvious throughout all of his, like, you know, lessons that he was really interested in the way of learning boats and stuff like that. And I'm quite a technical person, like, I love planes and space and stuff like that, but I was never really a boat person before then. Um, but um, I've also got a friend, Alan, who's going to be with us today as well. I don't know if he'll want to go on camera, but... Um, I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in, in the video as well, actually, because, you know, he specialises in this sort of stuff, so uh, if you want some really good videos of the Waverly and, like, Calmac boats and stuff like that, then you'll get it there. Um, but, you know, like, basically, yeah, so I had this teacher and, you know, at the time he'd done some stuff to do with the Waverly, um, but, you know, like... After, after my fourth year he actually left our school to go work elsewhere but uh, he's actually worked his way up the ranks of the Paddle Steamer Preservation Society which is the, the group that owns the Waverley and operates the Waverley. Um, I'm not actually sure if it owns the Waverley. I'm, I'm not terribly certain about the details of it, I need to look it up but um, they basically operate the Waverley and they make all the decisions you know, as to where it's going to go, the timetables and stuff like that. And um, But he's actually now, like, the chairman of that. So he actually runs that organisation. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool story. Um, but aye. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I get interested in the Waverley and interested in boats in general. Um, I've, I'm actually a part of a group um, called the Maritime Volunteer Service. Um, and we run a small boat out of Adrossen, but... Unfortunately, that's came to an end recently, so... Um, but I'm going to try and find some videos of that as well, and maybe try and post them in the channel as well, but they'll all be from, like, years ago, because um, we've been fairly inactive recently in general, so... But unfortunately, it's just another one of those things, we just didn't have the money to run it, you know, obviously, with what was going on. But, um, so yeah, it's a pretty long intro to this video. <laughs> um, I hope you like the nice, kind of, like, sea view. Um, I thought that was pretty cool, you know, just do it outside, do the video outside rather than stuck in the car. Um, but yeah, hopefully today's going to be great and 
and um, we're going to have a good day out in the water. So, yeah, see you guys there.
<laughs> oh, look at Gucci, look at Gucci. He's a top line. <laughs>
Okay, so that's me back in the car. Uh, I'm back in Irvine, actually. That's me drove home from Largs. Um, um, yeah, that was a really good day. Um, it was really good to be back out after, you know, I think probably nearly two years of being in the Waverley. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was really good. Um, you know, like, obviously it's different with what's going on just now, but um, yeah, I mean, it was really good. Um, you know, like... I'm still trying to get the hang of, like, the outdoor vlogging stuff, so I know this video is probably going to be quite a long one with all the clips that I'm putting together. I've not actually done it as of yet, but, you know, I hope it turns out okay. Um, near the end, I was struggling for, you know, memory card space and battery, so, you know, I had to kind of... I got a lot of footage of, like, the first half, very little footage of the second half, but, you know, that's just one of those things that I'm obviously going to have to continue to practice, you know, um, both of my battery packs are MIA, so I don't really know where they are, so I'm going to try and look those out, but, so basically what we've done today is, originally the plan was that we were going to be heading out from Largs and going to Rothsey, where I could have gotten off if I liked, or we could have just done the, the cruise round Butte. But what we actually done, obviously, because the boat was late, was we just went straight round Butte, so it was just a cruise round Butte, but then uh, we actually also went up Loch Striven quite a bit, and you saw that moment near the, near the end of the, the boat footage, like, where we were actually stopped and it was dead silent, uh, and that's because when you're going up Loch Striven, it couldn't really go much further because, you know, obviously it looked quite wide, but actually underwater, um, you know, is a very narrow sort of channel. Uh, I've been told that there's been times the Waverleys but actually went up it like, like backwards, um, but, you know, they didn't do that today, obviously, um, you know. Uh, they didn't really, they're not going to want to take any risks, you know, just now, like, you know, obviously the Waverley's just came back into service, it only done its first operational cruise yesterday, I believe, uh, you know, so they're really trying to just sort of like ease it back in, um, you know, but it was really good, it was really great to get back out on it, you know, and, you know, I always love being out in the water because it's like, you know, I feel like when you're out in the water, all of the kind of worries that you've got on land, you just leave them behind there and you just, you get out, you enjoy the day. Um, It's really good. So, I don't know how well this video is going to like string together because, you know, this is the first time I'm doing like a proper outdoors uh, sort of vlog. So, you know, I hope it goes well. Uh, I'm still... Not really an expert at, you know, finding good shots and stuff like that, good angles, you know. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not a photography person in that sense. But, like, yeah, so, I mean, I'll give it a go and, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. Uh, if you hated it, leave a dislike. Um, if you can think of any way that I could make them better in any way or if you just want to say, oh, that was really good or really bad, then... You know, comment section down below, please use that. And as always, if you think you'll enjoy this sort of content in the future, uh, please do subscribe. Hopefully next week, I'm actually going to be in the Waverley again next Sunday and we're going to be going to Tyna Brook. I think, you know, I don't I don't really say it properly, but um, you actually saw it in the video there. Or, you know, I'll point it out, you know, in a caption, but like... Um, the little town that's like right in the middle of the Kyle's of Butte um, and it's got the, the wooden pier, a very traditional looking wooden pier but uh, we're going to be going there next Sunday, I'm booked to go there and we're going to actually get off and explore the town a little bit so yeah hopefully that that should be pretty cool because I've never done that, I've never done that before either so it's going to be new for the channel but it's also going to be new for me as well so uh, I'm quite excited about that. Um, so, yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye, folks.